Well, I think we played fairly well. I do think there was a lot of coachable moments, and especially in the fourth quarter, uh, you got to be careful. We, had, we did win, but I'm not sure that fourth quarter was winning football, uh, making some, some pivotal mistakes. But uh, guys fought well, had a lot of energy. They should. Uh, we were the better team tonight, um, but uh, that doesn't mean you're always going to win. So uh, a lot of things we need to improve on. It certainly wasn't at the top of our game, but we don't expect that in week one. We expect uh, to grow and get better, and that's what we're expecting to do next week. Jake hit a lot of different receivers. Did you like the way the ball was better? Yeah, I like, yeah, I do. I, I thought he just played under poise, uh, moved around when we needed to, uh, moved out of the pocket. I thought that was an excellent job. Uh, we did a pretty good job at just trying not to establish him, you know, kind of in between the tackles. And, and But, you know, to have the lead is so much easier to, to call a game. So, you know, there were some obviously some plays I thought uh, if we make them late, uh, we've got a real chance to kind of put the nail in the coffin. We didn't. Uh, they had the nice drive late and got within that eight. But um, it was a nice win. I, it was a great night. I thought our fans were there. I loved it. It was good for me. I, you know, I heard the fans or the, the team I decided to, this, this place is starting to get going a little bit um, so for me it was just a great night to start one and all that's better than we've been in the, the last few years let's see if we can build on it you had a lot of newcomers step up tonight must be nice as a coach to know that all those tough decisions in the preseason looked good tonight yeah I mean I don't know all of them but I'm I, let me watch the tape but I did I did like I thought we looked pretty confident out there I thought the guys um, at least knew what they were wanting to do um, you know I think offensively we just need some touchdowns uh, that's the thing that really got us. But we were in, we were basically in our groove the whole game. Uh, I do think we need to run the ball better. I don't think we moved the line of scrimmage that well, so that's something there. Um, and then defensively, I, I didn't think we pressured the quarterback well enough. I thought they handled us on the line of scrimmage. You don't win a lot of games when you don't win the line of scrimmage, but we won the turnover battle, and that's kind of the key. And then well, I thought we were the better team, special teams, obviously the huge return by Eric. A uh, you know, bad penalty late uh, that gave us uh, – I thought it kind of put the game in doubt on that onside kick. If, if we don't take the penalty, we get the onside. The game's over. We're going to kick a single or, or a field goal. So those are great teaching moments. moments. Um, that's how they, <laughs> I rambled on as fast as I could about the game there, but uh, uh, good to get the win. You talk about your offensive line. I know like, you wanted to control the line of scrimmage a little bit, but in terms of keeping Jake upright, they did their job. Yeah, because there's a lot of fronts. I think uh, Hamilton had some injuries, so they got a little more basic. Um, yeah, you know, didn't run all their, their crazy stuff. Uh, you know, I'm with you. We did a nice job in pass protection. I thought we got open too, but uh, I thought Jake made some very rhythm throws, some very nice throws. Uh, just got to do better running the ball. Um, you know, we got to get downhill on people. We got big backs, and I thought they were running pretty well. We just got to get ourselves uh, moving the line of scrimmage. Cam Eccles impressed a rookie camp, training camp, and now in week one. Just maybe a thought on the newcomer? Yeah, I mean, I think he's a good player. I think he's certainly, uh, you can tell, like, um, we put a lot on guys. We really do. We put a lot on receivers, a lot of motions, formations, uh, little things from week to week. Uh, I think he handled it, but he, you know, those are some things you, you take for granted from like a veteran guy. The guy I thought stepped up the best is Clark Barnes. I thought Clark had a great game, and he could have had even a bigger game on the outside. It was a little bit of an underthrow and almost made a big play for us. But to me, he was the guy that, uh, that made, I guess, the biggest catches. You wanted a little bit more pressure, but what did you think about your team against the run game? Not great. Uh, I thought they, I thought they won the line of scrimmage. So um, now I've been wrong before with film and all that, and um, but we'll see what the scheme was in the system. But uh, you know, we had a good start. We had a good start, and I was impressed. We, if we could, if we could score some touchdowns, I think we really could have put some distance between us. We didn't, um, and then they kind of committed to the run, and then and 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 Bo actually, you know, they moved around well. I thought he moved around well and got uh, yards with his legs and. He manipulated the pocket well and made his throws, so uh, he had a good game. Is there any part of you that says we beat Bo? No, I, he played well though. I mean, I like to beat him when he when he when he plays well. He took a big hit and he, he stayed in there. Bo's underrated toughness. I think he's got that. So, uh, you know, it wasn't those that you like to give him a big hug though because you're competing. You know, like you really want to you want to win, and he wants to win too. So, uh, I think I think obviously uh, as an organization, we'll always know what he's been about and. Uh, he showed again today that he's uh, you know, right up there with the best quarterbacks in our league.